As of today, Nyakabande Transit Center in Kisoro District is host to over 13,000 refugees from the Democratic Republic of Congo. More than 100,000. But because it has taken place over quite a period, it has become more or less like a silent emergency. Majority of them fled their country in March after fighting between the Congolese forces and the rebels of M23 resumed. UNHCR country representative Matthew Krentzil says the Congolese refugees do not want to move to the designated refugee settlements and it's becoming expensive to feed them at Nyakabande. Now they have been in um, the holding center in uh, Nyakabande since March. There we are unable to provide them all the facilities um, and the advantages that go with living in a settlement. So gradually, if that uh, place is not emptied, it risks becoming a refugee camp, mm -hmm. which undermines the very policy of the government. Now, government has issued a notice to all refugees at the center in Ikisoro district to move to refugee settlement centers because Nyakabande is going to be closed. So we are saying, we are giving them up to the 31st of October. That means it's a month, a month from now. You either go to the resettlement where we are providing you to, to resettle or you go back to uh, DRC Congo because we are not going to continue this. If you look at the hot bill, WFP alone is providing eight metric tons daily. I wish to confirm uh, the fullest support of UNACR to the government to have um, that center um, closed. Refugees who do not want to be relocated have also been asked to apply for asylum. Either you're going to be an asylum seeker or you're going to go back to DRC Congo. So that's what we are talking about. Being a host country, we wish to integrate our people to live in harmony with the refugees. I worked in human rights and would get very many cases of rape, of stealing, and I was emphasizing that even in this forum that the surrounding districts have a very big problem. What more dignity do we want to instill in these people rather than somebody being self-reliant? And many knows this. You are only man when you have something in your pocket. You can talk with authority. You are only a woman if your children are able to eat. Uganda hosts about 1.5 million refugees, with the majority from South Sudan and DRC. Because of Uganda's open-door policy to refugees, the UNHCR representative has announced that Uganda has been chosen to host a global summit on refugees. Jingo Francis, NTV.